It's time for some DP, which is not how I ever thought I would start a video, but we're here doing it anyway. Hello, how are you? Now, Dark Paladin was on the receiving end of some buffs in the recent update. The important thing to note is that he now does all magical damage with everything he does. His basic attack, which was physical, is now magical. We can all rejoice and celebrate and be happy about this marvelous thing. In addition to that, before I get hit by this guy shooting a stupid cannon at me, the little asshole, Paladin, as you know, whenever he does damage with his abilities, he builds up a darkness meter under his health. You'll see me building it throughout use of him. And when that meter fills up to completion, we get a shield. That shield used to be worth 10 life, which, you know, it might block a little bit of damage, especially on dark mode 10. It didn't really feel super impactful, but it was helpful. But you wanted it because while that barrier was on, your magic damage is amplified by 30%. And it also improved your normal attacks, giving them kind of like a Legend of Zelda Master Sword Blade style projectile that shoots out whenever you swing it. And that was kind of the main point. I never really was bothered by the fact that Paladin had a physical dealing basic attack, because the goal is to get the shield on and keep it on as long as possible. Now in the update, not only does Paladin build more of his shield meter when he hits enemies with his skills, which speeds up the whole process, but the shield now has 20 life instead of 30. Something else they did was they buffed the damage of Dark Charge. By how much? I think maybe too much, because I took a look at this just to get an idea. By the way, we fired that and we not only filled the meter, but we almost filled it twice. That was pretty disgusting. The amount of, of barb built just then. Holy dooly. Now, yeah, that's the dark charge. Dude, that's, that's not inconsequential. That is a lot of dark charge. Now, the Dark Wave that you sh it's called just Dark Wave, right? Yes, the Dark Wave is still probably, like, everyone's favorite ability to use with the Paladin. I mean, why wouldn't it be? It's like a, a Dark Blade Beam Getsuga Tensho looking... Uh, it does a lot of damage itself. Very useful, and I'm kind of... Yeah, I'm getting hit by stuff. There we go. My, my Now that my shield is on, we've got this extra... It gets better when you hit Legendary, this extra wave that comes out, but for now, pretty nice. What I should do is take some heat on purpose. There we go. And now I can show you that his basic attack is doing magic damage. You can all rejoice, all of you who were bothered by this. Now, because... Damn, he really builds that meter now, doesn't he? Good lord, it used to be like, you know, not hard, but it, it took some effort to, to you know, build this, this shield up. And now... It's kind of good. Ooh. Dude, Paladin might become quite the room clearer at this rate. He might become the guy. I'm looking forward to seeing how this translates to Legendary, because I know at Legendary the charge gains a projectile that he shoots out of it. The Chalice of Glory. Magic attack goes up for all of my attack speed. Mmm. And reaching the maximum limit will give me a skill casting speed increase. This is unironically kind of nice dude that's kind of nice now i'm not really deliberately going into a lot of attack speed but compared to everything else that's there plus a bit of artifact who cares dude even if we don't use it long term that's kind of nice for now now i'm looking for i think because it's a paladin run and because he focuses so intently on oh that's pretty d dude i'm telling you prince's box has been hitting lately um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, of course, I'm using the basic staff and the Kalan Insignia. Just, for those who are getting into the hard mode runs, I highly recommend picking either the basic sword or the basic staff, depending on what kind of damage you're prioritizing, and the Insignia, because this will give you 60 gold per map when you first start off, so you'll get a little bit of money going. And if you do decide to get into treasure, whether that be locking in at the inscription machines down here, assuming you've unlocked them already, or if you just happen to find one more gold item, it's just, it's so useful, dude. But, as I'm saying, ooh, I might take this just to sell it, even if I don't keep it long term, because it's a legendary, it'll, it'll sell for money, like, it, it sells for a bit, we can, we can, we can, we can make some money out of this, right? We can make some money out of this. So, let's roll one, and see what, uh, I mean, I do like the mana tech. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna ditch the, uh... 
With bills, you'll get a damage amp if you freeze a dude. Shh, quiet, you. <laughs> quiet, you. Um, we sell that and we gain a little bit of mana tech. I'm trying to finish my sentence. So, because... Let me just put that there. You're like, did she just take, like, no damage from that? Madam. Blade wave. Go. Mr. Dark wave, go. I'm gonna swap into Little Skull for a second just to start getting some of these mana techs going. And then if you sit still for us, madam, madam, mat, don't, not with the shield, not with the shield. Get that out of here. Get that crap out of here. Die. All of you die. Hey, she's stuck in the air. Now, what's the sentence I'm trying to finish? Cool down. He needs cool down because he is so dependent on spamming his abilities. And this is how he's always played. People are like, his basic attack, his basic attack. I never cared about his basic attack being physical because he's all about ability spam. It's how you get his little dark bubble to protect him. It's how you get the buff from his shield being active in the first place. So I'm looking for mana tech and or mana cycle related items with, I tried to drop down through the ground in time. Why did I sound like a, a slightly annoyed Squidward just then? No, don't throw that. My guys. My, my guys. My guys. I need to break this thing. I hate this incense guy. Act 1 doing what Act 1 do. Being the most. Sir. Sir. This bloody play. I shouldn't even waste it on plate armor, man. Don't even waste it on plate. Okay, plate armor gone? Good, we kill. We kill. That may seem like he's low damage for now, but I'm hoping once we kind of, you know, ramp up a little bit, it improves quite nicely. I'm already surprised with the damage that his uh, tackle is doing. His tackle never used to hit like this, which, yes, that does say a lot for how powerful tackle used to be. I don't know by how much they've improved it. It might be only like 20, 30%. I mean, if it turns out it was like 10%, and I'm just gaslighting myself into truly believe. I was just trying to push him off the edge, but you know, okay. I'll take a dip too. I don't care, dude. It's Act 1. This is just what Act 1 does to you. You play Skull for long enough, you start to learn that Act 1 is just an asshole to you. And is testing to see if you can survive the initial onslaught. Damn, that was weird. All the gold at the top of the screen. Oh, swap cooldown between my secondary and main wouldn't be too bad. Because Paladin, when he swaps, he does summon the Dark Cross, and I believe, if memory serves, we get some bonus effects to that Dark Cross when we upgrade. We do get our mana... You know what? I'm going to take a look down here and see what the gold is going to do for us. It's going to get us Prayer of Grace, which is a really nice start. Do I roll this or do I keep it? Now, this is all because... I'll take it anyway. You know what? Who cares? I'll take it. We get our two mana cycle this way nice and early without having to rely on locking in and might be able to get mana tech locked in instead so if i could lock in mana tech and wisdom that'd be kind of nice i could also take some artifact over here you know what let me get the artifact real quick if i get rid of this i'd have to sell something i could sell the chalice i don't want to sell the chalice though let's just move on now dark paladin for those who aren't aware for those who might be new for those who've forgotten because you know as if you're gonna forget about dark paladin anyway but still for those who aren't sure, Dark Paladin is one of the two, in my opinion, best support skulls in the game. A bit like Bomber. Now, you can play them as the dominant main skull for your, you know, your team. But he does shine really well as, like, you know, your hype guy because of this shield effect. So basically, the, the idea is you, you bring him out, you throw his attacks out there. So let's say you bring him out and you're like, I'm going to throw my cool Dark Wave Getsuga. And then you do all the stuff you do, then you swap out to your other guy, and then your other guy will do some cool stuff, and then you swap back into, into Paladin in time to throw out his cool attacks again. And the cycle that you get into is... Ooh. That was a lot of meat. I had to see how much meat it. We just, we just cycle a lot of gains, dude. The, the, the process you want to get into is having the shield on you at all times. Swap out, let Paladin build the shield. That way you get that 30% damage amp. Paladin just used up all of his cooldowns getting the shield in the first place. So then you need your main damager to really capitalize on the damage buff while he's shielded. So, I mean, I'm not going to lie. If I were <laughs> to get like a little bit of 
mage's necklace or, you know, something like that. I could do a Silent Cries and I could make this a Skullboy run featuring Paladin. Only difference is Skull, as a Skull run, doesn't really care about partners too much. Like, he literally just doesn't really care. He just, he functions so well on his own for his particular runs that you really don't need to. See, he's kind of doing it already, man. He's, he's kind of, he's kind of doing it. But, we don't have Mage's Necklace yet. We don't have the Mana Tech, uh, the Mana Tech, whatever it was called. I keep forgetting its damn name. It's not, the Mana Tech, it's like the Gravity Gen, Mana Tech Generator? Grav Generator? It's something like that. You'll know what it is. I, I've been forgetting it since the last video. I'll need to find that item. No, don't do, ow. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, buddy. Just drop this here. I'm really, I'm feeling kind of greedy, dude. I might, yeah, let's jump, <laughs> let's jump up and hit him with it. I don't want to sit here and wait anymore. I want to get him. Throw the head a couple of times, bonk, bonk, bonk. Here, have a Dark Cross. Have it. Actually, I think Dark Cross is the name of his other abilities. Um, speaking of his other abilities, so the, the cross attack that he's got, and the multiple slashies never got any changes. The cross slash attack isn't terrible, but it's my least favorite functionally of everything that he has. However, the multiple slashes is okay, but it does lock you in place for a pretty damn decent amount of time. Bracelet would be funny if I wanted to keep the chalice, but I really don't particularly want to keep the chalice. No, I might take the golden whip. Just to get that two treasure, two revenge start, which would be pretty, you know, pretty wicked to get the gold gain so I can fund the rest of my run. Yeah, let's do that. Crit's not bad. Gold isn't bad. It's all good. Yo, the bones. The bones working out. Shyness. When there's one enemy nearby, my damage is amped by a ton. If there are two or more enemies, my power is halved. <laughs> I mean, this wouldn't be too bad. I could just sit at a distance and fire off dark waves. Only problem is when I jump into the fray, it's going to make him look worse than he actually is. But a 40% damage amp on, on solo boss encounters is really potent. Shyness is really potent when it works, like for the dad fight, or the, the dark skull for Alexander, those last three main boss battles. Um, and it says if there are two or more enemies, so even the sisters, this would work on the sisters, because two, you know, it needs to be three. As soon as three dudes are around, it's a problem. Let's take Shyness. Let's try it out. Shyness should be a lot of fun. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I've got five here. Assuming that I lose... Would I lose... Re I wouldn't lose Revenge for a while because Hate Stone, keeping that artifact. It's this artifact I'm going to lose at some point. Mystery. I'm going to keep Wisdom. Arson, we're not going to keep. We don't have that at two anyway. I could do some collection desire, but I need Silent Cries. First and foremost, Silent Cries, getting this shyness has now stopped us from getting two out of two. Cooldowns, 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 cooldowns. Silent Cries is the best thing for cooldowns that we can grab from here right now. We'll work on that. Try and get it going as the run progresses. Just don't want shyness to balls me up. Okay, I, oh, I can see it. You can see it when too many dudes are at the party. Ow. Oh, careful. Don't get frame locked. There you go, sir. Perish. Now, if I, if I do this correctly... There you go. See how they're all red? They start glowing red. It's actually pretty generous. You can be a decent... Ow, what the hell am I doing? I'm just... I'm looking at the, at the things instead of dodging. Um, it's a pretty generous distance, to be honest. And considering that, you know, we've got the dark wave that we can launch from a distance, it's pretty nice. I like it, dude. I like it a lot. It works. I thought it was um, closer than this, but you know, if we can get this far away, if it's this generous for us, of course, of course. No, die. I hate you. Die. I hate these guys. Nerp. Nerp. I need to get to legendary, dude. I need it. Once I get to Legendary, this is going to get so much. So oh, that was a better damage, though. That was a better... Okay, wait a minute. Was that confirmation that the Dark Charge is doing more damage than Dark Wave? I think it's doing more damage than Dark Wave. I haven't really been noticing. Has it been doing that the whole time? Bro. 
Hang on, if I come over here, so I don't get my damage nuked. Yeah, it looks like it is. I, I am stepping into harm's way. But just think, the amount of times I'm stepping into harm's way, but I'm not really dying that severely. The shield is helping. Just getting a 20 absorb shield every so often. Very, very handy. Ah, ninja. This is where I might end up losing little basic skull boy because we can make a very good trade to get some bones out of this. The real question, I, I do, I'm not finding, see things like this are really nice, but it's more utility. I am s just strictly looking. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I might, you know, I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm specifically not going to do it because we've done a, a pretty damn healthy chunk of Fulgent Dawn lately. Man. Yeah, no, we do this. I'm sorry, little basic skull fella, but it has to be done. I need to come back and do some more... Some more ninja runs at some point. Ninja is a lot of fun. You know, Howling Horn... Using a skill after five normal attacks creates a pulse that deals damage and increases magic attack by 45. It's not bad. It is mana cycle. Two mysteries. Not, but yeah, we could do something with this. What would I sell? I might ditch the mana tech cog wheel at this point. It's really not doing anything for me. But I could... I, I hate how I'm like five bucks short. Like, why? Also, someone's going to say this is the ring. It's not the ring. It's the abandoned wedding ring. It's got the blue, the actual blue gemstone on it. It's got a sapphire. The lunar ring is all uniformly one, one color. Mm, yeah, let's, let's just try it out. Why not? So do a bunch of normal attacks after a skill, which shouldn't be too hard. But getting the three mana tech is going to help out. Did I say mana, mana cycle rather? Is going to help a lot. You got one of my favorite skills on you. Let's use it. Oh. Hold up. How close did you come to dying? Oh, not that close. Okay. Calm down. Calm. Calm down. Damn, mystery kind of doing its job, isn't it? Die. Really? Really? <laughs> I hate that guy. Ogre. Give me thing. That's not what... Bro. I deserve this. After the last couple of runs where I've had just the most ridiculous luck. I do in fact deserve this. This is... This is fine. We'll make do, you know. Learning to... To live with... The bad RNG. It's part of the experience. We haven't got a lot of bones yet. We haven't got a lot of... Just stupid item drops but we are getting there we are making it work dark paladin is no easy fella dark paladin has to work for his meal that's a reference i wonder how many will get it mm, yeah okay we can at least get to legendary after this fight guaranteed i should have um taken minotaur and got rid of ninja but ninja's fun can you blame me do not tell me that that stupid ninja idiot on the screen counts towards good i was gonna say if he's counting to he is wait a minute but there's only two there when they stand next to each other why is it happening i don't understand sir ow i was in the middle of my swap in ability i don't know why i'm swapping out i'm not gonna do i, I want to get the, the dark cross landing on him <laughs> even if it's not gonna do a lot damn it man my damage but there's only two here is it counting me? Hang on, let me take a look at this for a second. Two or more enemies nearby, the enemy's attack power increases. I don't get it. I don't get it. So it, it, it is counting. But you're not a real enemy. I guess background asset ninja counts. Whatever, dude. Also, have I been saying that my damage... No, no, they get stronger. We, we don't want to be, like, standing here because they all hurt me more. Did I give you the impression it was... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm an idiot. Don't worry about it. They get stronger. We're not nerfed. It's just that dickhead one and two over here are going to get stronger because their little friend is making them stronger. Please stop this. I need damage, dude. I need to lock in my goddamn wisdom. I think I'm still at one wisdom, right? 
I need to get that wisdom up. I need to get my... Take that. I need my bloody tackle buff to start pulling in some work. There we go. Uh, that's my mana cycle, at least. So now my skills get a 30% damage amp. Oh, we've got all these amplifications and very little actual damage. We need to get Silent Cries going. We need to get Collection Desire going. We need to... Damn it. Do you at least have magic attack? You do have magic attacks. Okay, there we go. There we go. I could take... Raven Lord is cool, but I need the bones. I, I, I first need the bones. Please. But the goal... The goal is, is in sight. The goal is in sight. We, we, I could do this. I could do this. Paladin is a good boy. I believe in the Paladin. I just need to... Lock in my wisdom at the very least to start making these numbers go... Oomph. 283? Wait, that's why? With no buffs or anything, it's 283. Bro! Okay, we start dumping into the damage upgrade. We've got a lot of defense and not a lot of damage. We're not dying, but we're not thriving and killing. Biggest dark way. Let me test this out. That's a lot of... Wait a minute, son. Hang on. Throw the fattest dark wave. I like it! Wait, we're doing some actual damage. Here's the improved blade wave that I promised you. The tackle now fires a projectile, and now my basics are shooting at little Legend of Zelda-inspired wavy wavy. Stop it. You know, my enemy is having more damage. Doesn't even matter because my shield is just going to save me so well. Please. I was kind of hoping for another magic boy that I could have as a secondary. Yeah, that kind of sucks. I kind of, I kind of, like worried about that being the case. I got locked into place a little too much. You don't reach me with that, do you? What do you mean that trap doesn't hit you? Die. Oh dear. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Fire it. Nah, but what was wrong with why? You know what? You know what? I just, wow, did that kill the big man? Okay, it's starting to come together. Wait, shield is on. 383 damage. Okay, considering I have no deeps on my side. It's it's kind of what. Give me something. Give me give me something. Uh... Okay. Okay. Damage dealt to enemies, it will ominous. No, I don't. I don't want an omen. I really don't want an omen. It's... No. No. I don't want an omen for this. I really don't want an omen for this. Omens are poopy butts. Not good fun. Not good haha. -ha. They sucky. I am... What am I going to get rid of? What am I going to get rid of here? Let's see. Keep it. Keep it. Uh, keep it, I guess. Definitely keeping it. Need it for the mana cycle for now. Keeping it. Mana cycle. Mana cycle. Shit. I don't want to get rid of anything right now, but I'm going to have to. I don't really want to take after image. Especially to take and get rid of artifact, which is a bad thing to do, because I need my raw damage for my multiplier to even start doing anything. Maybe I get rid of bone of time for now, because it's really not doing anything, and I just lock in my mana stuff when I get in here. So mana cycle. We start by locking that in. There we go. Now I have guaranteed cycle. I'd take Alchemist, to be honest, just as a funny little secondary dude to mess around with. He has the benefit that his swap doesn't um, lock you into place and have like a, you know, it's like Paladin. Everyone else, when they swap in, they have like a second where they do their attack. Ooh, in a flame wouldn't be, nah, whatever. But Paladin, you just, he just he's just there. Same with Alchemist, he's just there. Oh, Banshee is cool and all, but... I really don't need or want Banshee right now. Mana Gauntlets would be kind of okay. Normal attacks increasing magic attack, but I'm he's really not built for it. I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna Ooh. But Alchemist works better for this. But Al Alchemist actually works better for like keeping range. Do this. Now please. Yeah? Yeah, this counts. This this counts. This this is fine. So 
We gain our artifact, we keep treasure, we get closer to four artifact, and this is 70% damage. I can ditch the insignia now. This is worth. This is this is value. This is worth. Yes, this is worth. We have value here. Dude, help me. Please. Did that just kill those guys? Wait a minute. What? Dude, if I actually get numbers on this, this is gonna go insane. What? Wait a minute. Ooh, nice snipe. But wait a minute. We don't have any... But we don't have any damage. Yo, the magical cle... Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, fella. Oh, he's the guy. He's the fella. Hey, you want to come down here? Thank you. What the hell? Please. Bro. Wait, what, what is that damage? I don't have my, my cool blade waves. What was that tackle damage? Madam. What? Nah, the tackle's doing so much more damage. Wait, what? It's not meant to be- What? Give me- Give me actual damage items, please. Please, I beg of thee. Give me real damaging items. I want to see this tackle pop off. It hits multiple times already. I need predicted pain to be kind of good for this. Ooh. I don't think it hits enough, though. You really need, like, big spam. Eh. I th threw it and still didn't hit her. Eh. Come on, bring one in. Come on, bring one in. Wait a minute. Oh, it is two or- I thought it was three! Dude, I'm stupid forever. I told you guys it had to be, like, three enemies or more for the buff to happen. No, it's just two. Does it say two or more? I can't read. It's late at night. There was an eclipse recently. I stubbed my toe this morning. Not really. Um, let's pretend that I did. There we go. There. Let's just pretend, all right? Let's let's just. Ow! You bitch. You blech. Don't touch me, blech. Right. Golem, get this lady. The golem didn't really get the lady, did it? No. Nope. Get waved. Oh my god, lady! Look at her busting out her own dark paladin bullshit on me here. Big tackles. It builds decent meter, too! Oh my lady. That was brutal. That was damn it, Alchemist. Why do you lock me in place so much just by doing that? Ugh. No. Ah oh, man. Tackle at him. You know, considering the mistakes being made. Well there we go. Considering the mistakes that were made, I feel so safe. I feel like I've got a little warm blanket wrapped around me and nothing bad can happen ever because Paladin's got me. He, he's got me, you know, I'm safe. I haven't got any like max life increasing on me. I've got 150, it's 150 life, dude. I don't have a big life increase. I don't have anything else. I feel so secure. Uh, right, when the dark cross is near, magic damage is amped by 30%. This is why swapping into him is so good. That's why if you can, if I can keep the barrier, dude, I need, I need Bomber. I need Kabooma for this. If I could swap out and Kaboom back in, keep the big bubble around me for the 30% damage amp with the bubble, plus have the Dark Sanctuary cross down. That's where Paladin's damage is coming from, dude. He's stacking his own amplification effects. It's, I, I it's doing so much. I might take Light Weasel. Uh, let's see. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Let's take Light Weasel. Let's get a Quintessence. Lightweasel's fine. Lightweasel, funny, funny, haha, -ha, fun guy. 
So assuming I blow five of my dark... Ooh. Ambition would be kind of nice. So my damage goes up by 5% per quartz. Skill cooldown speed increases per quartz. Max life per quartz. But this can be offset by improving my max life through other means. And then amplify damage dealt to enemies per quartz. You know, ambition kind of pops off. Ambition kind of goes hard, man. Let's get some ambition on our side. But let's also do this. So now... With our risky plays right here, what's going to be the last one? Should I just make a collection desire just so I can actually have some damn damage? I do have seven right now. I have seven. I've only locked in Mana Cycle at the machine, so I could still lock in Artifact 4 if I want, or wait until I find like one more Wisdom and then lock in four Wisdom. So... I mean, I've got, I'm going to have to get rid of the gold stuff eventually. I'll keep the uh, the Golden Wand... Which means I could lock in treasure if I want to keep that 25% thanks to treasure. But the whip... I mean, the whip's giving me revenge, though. Or I could lock in revenge and get rid of the whip. There's a few options here. I might just do collection design. I know it's the boring pick. But for, look, at, look at my damage right now. 3, 8, 4. 5, 6, 4. It helps. And because all of my effects, like Wisdom gives me 20% from my base, so my base just went up, and now Wisdom is scaling better, plus I get the 30% when the bubble is on me, then the extra 30% extra, like, they're both amplifications from having the, the dark, the dark, um, bubble around, around me, and, and then the, uh, the cross. It's a lot, dude. It's, it's actually a lot. So let's do more. Let's do more. I kind of wanted to save my bone fragments and, like, cross my fingers to find Bomber. Because if I can upgrade Bomber into Unique, at the very least, I have a decent chance of getting Kaboom. But... Now we've got 658... Ma well, magic damage is getting skewed a little bit here, but... Damn, La Weasel. You didn't have to do it to him like that. Oh god, be careful. Oh god, be so careful. Did he just die? Hey, he's dead. Look at that. He just knocked my dark wave away. Stop that, Freezer. Little bitch. Say what you will, dude. Hang on. It's, it's working out. A lightning dashing dark paladin. Okay, we have the bubble. Hang on. What's my damage at? 855? Let me quickly swap out. I'm going to swap back in. Get the dark cross going. Hang on. Wow, look at the scaling, dude. With all these effects going, our damage doubles just by having, like, the cross nearby and the bubble on us. This is what I mean when I say he's a really good support skull, because he just... This works for everyone else. Everyone else benef... Ow! They were already exploding when I got there, alright? Uh, not my fault. They were blowing... I just stood there. I just... Haha, the joke is on you. I am doing this on purpose to prove a point. <clears throat> anyway, Glowstone is pretty hype and poggers, right? That mana cycle, though, I could replace a shitty mana... Do I have a shitty mana cycle I really don't care about? Not really, actually. I kind of... Damn it, man. You thought I was going to walk away and not pop up in the chest. I know what you were thinking. Because I was thinking this... Aha! Prohibited, but it's not too late. It's not too late. Oh, and the Lunar Ring? Bro... <sighs> It's not too late. Wait, we ditch Mystery? We ditch the stupid horn? I ditch the horn and the Chalice of Glory. And take the ring over here as well. And we just build up a lot of artifact. And I can lock in six artifact. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so people were asking about the book. I was going to show this off in a skull only run because I think the book works really well for him. So we get a small bit of damage increase just by holding this. It's not much. This is basically the Forbidden Sword for magic users. You gain... Ignore everything it says about pages and stuff like that, right? The easy way to think of it is you need to do 500... You need to get this item to stack to 500 for it to transform. You gain a stack every time a skill that you use hits an enemy. So, for example, if I fire my big dark wave attack and it flies across the screen and hits, like, ten dudes, 
I'll get 10 pages. You can hit three skills on the same target to get three stacks at once. So my tackle, if I do my charge and it hits three times against one dude, I'll just get three pages immediately that way. It's just the amount of times you hit. And because Little Skull can throw his head and pick it up again really quickly, back and forth, rapidly, it works really, really well for him in that regard. And I'm not gonna... Oh, I could squeeze it. Or I could get the Medusa. Mm, Medusa's actually really, really, really nice. I kind of want Medusa. Having that CC would really... It would just go so far, man. It would go so far. I'm barely... I, I, I would, if I took this out, I have to lock in another artifact. But I don't care about this. I don't want this item anymore. I'm going to sell it. Just to buy a Medusa. It's, it's worth it, dude. It's worth it. I can't lock in anything else. I can't get the damn ring that I was going to buy. I would have taken these as well. I'm broke. All right, leave me alone. I'm broke. I'm a little broke boy. Not going to get my cookies. Is it too late for that reference? Are we Are we done with that reference now? Tell me we're not done with that reference now. <laughs> nah, stop hitting me. There, we kill the dudes. We run the hell away while Big Man throws a tantrum. Meanwhile, Milkshake Man is actually landing. Look where he's standing. He's throwing those milkshakes from full screen. Fella is zoning me so hard. He's in a different area code throwing milkshakes at me. Surprise! Oh, he's knocking all my projectiles away. Surprise, bitch! Freezer! Oh, shit, Freezer! Ha <laughs> ha, idiot. Alright. Wait! This dude. This is the chance. This is exactly the right setup. Let me see. Hunt. It can't be Hunter. It's gotta be unique or higher. Damn it, we could have had double of the same skull. It's rare, but that's how it happens. Um, he's the guy. Nah, that's doing a lot of damage. I'm actually very impressed with Tackle right now. 10 out of 10. Tackle just got... Kind of bullshit, to be honest. This damn milkshake man. Did he die? He did die. That's incredible. But did he throw missiles first? No? Thank you. Thank you so much. Give me this. And we're gonna... Another... Dude, hunters? Hunters everywhere? I need this bomber, though. Have I gone past bomber? Or I, I should not have gone past bomber, right? Now, this is scary because the enemies are all just gonna get much nastier. Thanks to our shyness. But this is the risk that we have to... Please, dude. It had to be this particular group of people, too. Like, the tried and true holy trinity of, like, you know... Stupid little sword kid acting as DPS, tank, and healer. No, 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 die. Not happening. Dude! <laughs> Get fucked. Throw this. You know, we just do this. Let me just, we just yeet. We just yeet. There we go. Get alchemist, idiot. Hang on. Yeah? Bro. He's ruining it. He's... You're, you're ruining the whole fight. You're ruining the whole fight. Get stunned. Idiot. Die. Die. Hate this guy. Look, we've healed up to full. I have such a warm little blankie. Die. Give me your legendary. Ugh. Such a... Ooh. Ooh, thank you, Mr. Dominator. You're giving me lots of fragments. I might just upgrade Alchemist. Alchemist is a fun lad to have as a secondary. I really want... Bomber, though. I want Alchemist for his own run. No, I'm going to be greedy. I'm just going to start upgrading the other pillars in solid... I will find Bomber, all right? I will find him. Three, four... And then I can get three in the uh, attack speed and skill skill cooldown is really, really good. As you know, we're trying to get some more skill cooldown. We have our mana cycle. I do not have, however, any mana attack because mana attack <laughs> would be helpful. But I do not have any of the tech. They died. All of them. Dude!
Fella, don't do it. Fella. Nah, the tackle just became Paladin's best move. That's that's a lot of damage. Hang on, I'm gonna come down here and tackle into some big fellas. All dead. <laughs> Oops, all dead. Please, give me bomber, please. Please, I'll love you forever. Just give me bomber. Be a friend, be a pal, be a buddy. Ooh, 50% more damage plus an attack boosting totem? No, thank you. Nah. Stun him. Kill him. Whoa! Dude. I don't even have the dark cross on the screen. Stop that. Wait, he's gonna go for it? We chase him with this? Nah. Nah, you're going the wrong way. Hang on, just throw this. The actual wave that comes out is doing a lot of damage too. Bro. Shit. If I actually get Bomber, this run is over. Omen. Dude, Idol. If you know about Idol, you don't know about Idol, do you? I've got enough defense. I've got enough defense in the... Yep, I just hit my hand against the desk if you heard that. Ow. I'm in pain, but I'm actually not in that much pain because I've, I've got my Idol. Oh, I'm going to die. Or they're going to die. So the, the Omen Idol, whenever you swap, you drop a lot of damage on the screen. And it just goes all over the screen in the vicinity around you. And all you have to do is swap to activate it. It does a ton of damage. It also counts as swap damage, swap skill damage. The aura is considered a swap skill. So if we get mutant to three, because three mutant increases the damage of swap skills, the omen is considered a swap skill. So I need one more mutant on me and then I can lock in three mutant and we have access to one of the most potent item damage things, period. It's 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 so potent, it's it's illegal. It's it's so potent. So I need Yeah, it's not gonna be easy, is it? Nah. You're not gonna make it easy for me. In the meantime, let's do this to get some bone fragments. Thank you very much. And I know I should be taking money, but I'm still I'm still hankering, man. I'm Oh, you're the guy, that's why. You have this. Really? You don't, uh, you don't mess around, do you, little buddy? No, you do not. There, perish for me. Uh, take that. Dude, I can't even one-shot the, 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 the medium slimes with my dark wave compared to what Tackle is doing. Disgusting. Doesn't kill an ogre on its own. This ogre's already hurt. Almost blows up the giant mech golem, though. I don't get it. I really don't. Now, bear in mind, Omen is making me take 50% more damage, and Shyness, when there's a lot of enemies around, they get a 50% damage boost. If I fuck around and find out, I will just die. I have to be so careful, especially with explosions like that. Oh my god. He's alive, he's alive, he's alive, he's alive, he's alive. It's the same room, it's the same friggin' room as last time when that, that literal same thing. I'm finding out, I'm fi I'm okay, I'm okay. Remember Paladin? Such a warm, nice, comfy blanket. And we are working towards the prohibited books. If you look, I've got 122 on my stacks, 125, that kind of fucked up a little bit. As long as I keep hitting dudes with my skills, we'll get there, but I'm, I'm kind of doing a lot of damage. I'm kind of popping off with my basic attacks. May not get it. I may not transform it, but you know, there's a lot of dudes left to go. We could we could make this work. We can make it work. I will get the book done. I will get I will get the book done. I will get the book done. We start in Alchemist. We sw I didn't do any swaps. I didn't show you the omen. I I, I just <laughs> We need to swap more often. Just always be swapping. There we go. Look at the damage this thing is doing. Don't, don't get it twisted, dude. A lot of this damage is the item. It's not me. Yeah. I think that was hitless. It's a lot of damage. We need that other mutant. Give me a mutant. 
Give me a mutant item. I almost don't care what it is. I just need something. So, thank you. We have it on deck. Spectre is kind of funny, but no, no, no. I'm, I'm just looking, dude. I mean, Wisp would be kind of nice, but I have Medusa. So we take the Witch's Brew, even though it's doing nothing for us. Physical attack getting increased. Speeds up movement speed is something. Heritage is nice, I guess. I just need something to ditch. What can, what can I ditch? So no, no, no. Really don't want to. Don't want to for the art. But then again, I don't need the other. The revenge? Wisdom. I need a better wisdom than this, man. Mana cycle. I, okay, I might. Yes. Might be time to ditch the hate stone. I know, I know. I'm on your side here. I'm I, I understand what you're saying. I just lost my revenge. I lost my well, I didn't lose artifact, but I'm down to two, which is fine, but I lost my revenge. I've still got six though. Of the twos. This is it's not bad. We're done. I, I forgot we're done. We've we've got everything we need. I have no need to look at this guy, unless he's got fun curses, but. We did aging. Aging! No, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not gonna look. If I look, I'll be tempted. If I'm tempted, then something's wrong. We start pumping the bones. Pump up the jam. Pump it up. Get the party started. Look at that. So now, we will definitely find Bomber, right? We will definitely, definitely, definitely find Bomber. Definitely. Certainly. Have to. Have to. Please. The movement speed is, is cute, though, you know? We got we got stuff that we can do here. We got some we got some stuff. So I'm gonna throw skills and get some initial shut up, lad. Why'd I walk into that? I need to get that that mutant upgraded. We're not doing enough damage yet. We need to do more damage with our omen. The omen has so much more potential in it. Trust me, it do. It have the potential. Do this, do this, do this, do this. Die. There we go. Just a little bit of combination, you know, just a little bit of, little bit of damage. I like to call it the little one-two, how do you do? Perish. Ah, oh, lovely, 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 the slime. Am I, am I in an item room or a skull room? That's a skull room and a half. Thank you, Yaksha. I need that. <laughs> I need bomber. Okay, so... If I could get double... I'd hate double idol, to be honest. I don't want double idol. If I get double idol, I'll cry. I really don't want it to duplicate Witch's Brew, but I can't get rid of it. I kind of need it to stay there. If it duplicates either the Forbidden Sword or the Prohibited Book when they have stacks, you'll get an identical version with the same stacks it's already got built into it, so don't worry about that. If it duplicates after image, I cry again. I kind of just want to, to... I could take two golden wands and get rid of the golden whip then. I'm not getting any revenge out of it. And then at the very least, I'll go back up to... I don't need three. Why do I care about three in these things? I don't, bro. You know what? We're overthinking it. We just talk to him and we just let bygones be bygones. And we just go with whatever the flow happens to be. What's the flow? life decreased by 50%, but two idols of the forgot. And my last mutant. Shit. <laughs> Penis. <laughs> Willies. Okay, so I could replace Witch's Brew and then just lock in the third one when I get to the shop. 88 max life. Fuck. This is really dangerous. I don't think you guys realize how bad this is. Omen is so risky. Fucking it. Bro! Just keep swapping. Just keep swapping. Just keep swapping. He's just not touching the friggin' ground. There, touch the ground. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. 
Take it slow and steady. Take it slow and steady. Until we get to third mutant, we have to take it slow and steady. Remember, the, the enemies I'm fighting literally do 50% more damage whenever I'm near them, and they have friends, so I have to be... I have to be so damn safe. Don't. Take that. Take that. Bomber? I hate you! I hate you! You sag! <laughs> Unlucky mutant. Okay, mutant's locked in. So now, 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 depending on the current skull's grade, so if they're, you know, common 35%, rare 45, unique 55, legendary 65. So if I swap into, when I swap in to um, Paladin, I'll do more damage than when I swap into Alchemist with my omens. But that's, it doesn't matter because, I mean, it does matter, but look. It's a lot of damage. It may not seem like a lot. That's a lot of damage. So if I swap into Paladin, though, it's a lot of damage. Yes, you still don't think it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of damage. Bro, please. I can't afford anything. I'm so broke. I just need... If I got Kabooma, dude, so I could just do the quick swaps back and forth and, and drop literally four different stacks of Omen on the ground. Oh, it'd be so juicy. I just need to make sure I've got a shield. Yes, get stunned. I love having the stun for this. I love being a complete dickhead. And yes, they're all dead. Look at that. I did nothing. I did nothing. May the omens just run free. Yes. No, I'm not going to find Bomber. I'm, I'm, I'm so mad. I need to just upgrade Alchemist again. I need to just do that for the sake of... Ah! Run away! Run away! Run away! It's okay. Swap. Just keep swapping. Just keep swapping. Just keep swapping. Just keep swapping. I got rid of the... I just realized I got rid of the Hourglass Bone at the start of this entire run. The Hourglass Bone would have just... Opt off on this. It's fine. It's fine. Who cares? Who, who gives a shit? I don't give a shit. You give a shit? Why do you give a shit, dude? It doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. Why'd I do that? Don't ask. Uh, die. Oh, that jump at the end there. Yep. Yep. I'm not going to get my bloody book finished. I need a better mana cycle. I'm not going to get the book finished. I'm not going to get the book finished. I'm not going to get the book finished. Shit. I just realized, because the omen's killing too quickly, and I'm not... I'm... Balls! <laughs> I don't need artifact. I can I can live without artifact now, so I can just get rid of the book. It's the... Um... And at this point, do I even need the bloody cycle either? Really, dude? Jump over, dash under, jump over, dash under, jump over, dash under. And almost. Well, actually, no, I was going to say almost put myself in the corner for that, but he kind of put himself in the wrong spot. There we go. Easy win. Easy, 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 easy. Easy. I'm going to upgrade Alchemist. I... I should be upgrading my... No. This pillar needs to go up. I have some life again. Fuck yes. Okay, if I keep taking skull rooms, it's purely to upgrade alchemist at this point. Damn. Because there's like nothing else I can do about this. Just drop it up there and then we just... Yep. Yep. But you just out of range. What a lucky fella. No. You see that you've never said... I know what you're thinking. Beals, you fell off the edge. But you know what you didn't really think about and notice? The absolute speed at which I hit swap so that my shield ate the damage. I didn't even get hurt. Did you notice that I didn't get hurt? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. But I didn't take damage. I was safe. I was safe. Please. I'm so... I feel it, dude. I'm so close. It will happen. You're all saying cope. It will happen. No. No. There is no cope. Dude, I do no damage now. <laughs> Unless I'm swapping in and dropping lots of omen on people. Rockstar's kind of cool. No. 
This would have been amazing, dude. Actually, wait, that's my cycle and my <gasps> I was going to say it would have been amazing. No, we ditched the book. We ditched the book. I will do a skull only run at some point and I'll, I'll fuck it. I'll rig in the book at the start to show you guys. This is what I need. This is what I need to keep my mana cycle and I get my one mana tech for cooldowns. Not that it matters, but we do this anyway. I just lost my... Did I lose my artifact? Balls. I don't really need the raw damage anymore because we're not really benefiting from it. Funny enough, this is really helpful. Um, I don't even, dude, why do I even, hang on, let's go back and ask ourselves an important question. Beals, why are you so worried about mana cycle when you're not really using your skills anymore? I'm still using my skills, I just need, I need to use them to build my meter so I, I stay safe. And I've committed to the bid already from the start. I'm probably going to take the three out of three mutant upgrade at the end anyway, but humor me here, shut up. Ah, oh, bone would be so nice, the two wisdom. I'm not gonna be able to get that much in bone though. Not with my current setup. I'd have to I could go out of mana cycle and start like taking away from Prayer of Grace. But then it kind of ruins what we're doing though. No. And if I upgrade Alchemist, he can spam a lot of skills, and his skill spam will help out will help Paladin, vice versa. No 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 no. Just take it, just take it, dude. Aha! Uh -huh. Do that, do that. Do that. There we go. Leave. I've got bones for my little boy, Alchemist. No, don't do it. Oh, you. You pig. You pig. I hate you. I hate you. The reach. The reach on this man. Hate that guy. Did I kill everyone in this? Oh, I was gonna say. Now they're all dead. Now they're really all dead. Give me that. If I swap up here, it'll reach high enough and that guy will just die. He's dead. He's dead. I'm, I'm telling you, Idol of the Forgotten is the best omen. I'll just do this. He's dead. Look at this. Big fuck off statue shit, it died. I think the cross was reaching, actually. More chances, more chances. 130 bone fragments is all I need to get Alchemist maxed out, so anything after that is a literal waste. But I'm gonna be greedy, dude. We're chonking it. I'm chonking it greedy style. I need to bait him into doing an attack. Let me do this. Let me fire the dark wave just to get that shield going. We bait him into an attack. Do one of these. Come down here. We do one of these. And he's dead. It's disgusting. Oh, really? He died. <laughs> no! Okay, there's no reason anymore. There's no reason. But do I care about certain items? Do I just... I'm gonna... I don't care about money and items. I'm gonna commit. I'm gonna commit. I've done it already so far. I've done so much in the in the vein of getting this... This... Stu stupid bomber to show up. I will commit. Look at all the fragments. Please, bomber, for me. Fear old pal, Beals. That's not... That's not... <laughs> it's definitely not a bomber. <laughs> oh, no. It's fine. We'll just swap into Alchemist. We'll drop the big golem slam. We'll throw lots of poison vials. Just do lots of repeated swapping around like an idiot. If I'd gotten two out of two bone on this run, would have been sick, hot nasties. This run is no longer really showing what Paladin can do. It's now just showing Idol of the Forgotten. But, you know, that's still fine. broken. Let me in. Come on. Joan. Shut up, Joan. Joan. Joan, shut up. Thank you. Okay. Fresh swap into little mans, grab all the little mana techs on the ground. We're going to stun her as soon as she does her thing. And the omen just obliterated her health bar. You piece of shit, you would do this. Tackle her. Die. 
I'm telling you, dude, it's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I have no health. Dad's gonna destroy me. Oh no. Wait. I, I should just get rid of the Golden Whip anyway, just for the Voodoo Doll, for the two artifact, and for the fact that I have an extra friggin' life. Yeah, we take this. We don't. We don't need the whip. We don't need the crit rate. I'm, I'm, my goal is to never get hit, so this does nothing for me going into the final fight. No, we take this. We do this. Forget revenge. I don't need revenge. I am the revenge. Uh, what do we have? Cracked tongue, blood fest. Yep, it's gonna be a blood fest, all right. Assuming I don't die. Yeah. You thought I was gonna forget to upgrade Alchemist, didn't you? Well, I was debating walking out and just not doing it just to piss some of you off, but even I would be too annoyed at that. So let's upgrade the boy, and we have so many bone fragments left. I was so committed to the bit that I could almost upgrade Bomber anyway, even with all of this stuff done. But now we have a super cracked out Alchemist that we can, you know, abuse as such. Did it just not? I was gonna say, I swapped and it didn't put, um, didn't put omen goo on the ground. So let's take some bets. What's the bet that I get one shot by dad in the second phase? Do we have any takers? Any betters? Any, 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 dude, if I'd found bomber in the shop at the end here, I actually would have probably just, just closed the recording and stopped and went, like I would have cut to black and we just have text on the screen going, Beals went on to die. <laughs> just leave it at that. Do I open it? <laughs> Do I open it? Uh, what's the food? Do I care? No, I don't care. Damn, dude. Do I, do I, do I run the risk of giving myself an aneurysm? Oh, thank God. Thank God. That, I, I would have cried so badly. I saw the speed vial and it's like, you know, I could, I could get him. I can get him. He's a speed boy. Die. Right, give me my shield. I didn't get my shield off of that. Bastards. Damn, and you gotta remember, not only am I double omened up, but we have ambition here. <sighs> That's so... Dude, how... Do I have 16? So I'm losing... Uh, at 10 or more, so that would count for 7. So I'm losing 14 max life thanks to that. My cooldowns are better, my damage is better, damage dealt to enemies. The damage dealt to enemies from 12 or more would affect the the core though, my, my omens, because they just it's just damage, it doesn't like specify. It just says damage. I think the, the first bit of damage would boost it too, right? No, that boosts my... Mm, no, it still works. Should still work. No reason why it wouldn't. Alright, we're both legendary now, so because we're both legendary, it no longer matters who I swap into. We're just going to get 65% bonus damage either way. If I'd had two bone or even Bomber, that would have been sick. The goal, as soon as Dad does his jump in the air, slam down and summon lightning, I swap into Alchemist and drop... Uh, do I wait the second phase? How fast do you die, Dad? That's the real question. Oh, he's not taking that much heat. He jumps in the air a lot. Here it is. There you go. Aw, oh, cheeky boy. Flash dash. Where were you when Beals taught you how to flash dash? He just grabbed me. <laughs> I couldn't see. That counts as hitless on the first phase. He didn't throw me yet. I'm still seeing skulls. That stun's gonna fuck me up. Please. Please don't tell me I'm still stunned. Oh, fuck. He dodged my Medusi. Watch out, he's gonna... He's gonna... That's not good. I, I, I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking. That was 40 fucking da... Holy shit, dude. Get me my shield. I'm dead. 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 Literally dead. Liter literally died. So dangerous. He's gonna suck. 
No, he's just gonna be an asshole and do an ultimate attack out of thin air. Now he's sucking. No! What? How? How? <laughs> no! Dude, I thought the suck was over. Was that like the last frame of the suck? Did he finish grabbing me? I I stopped running against it because I saw that there were thorns on the right side of the screen and I'm like, oh no. So I decided to dash. I, I, I did two dashes to get through it with iframes and then I turned to the left and I thought the suck is over. You know, don't do... Hmm. Yep. Um... Yep. Well... Yeah, so anyway, uh, Beals dabbled in funny haha -ha omens, and funny haha -ha omens did what they did. Maybe you could argue that I should have taken one of them. Maybe you should argue that if I got Bomber, it would have been better. Or maybe I should just have never taken them at all and stuck to the main plan, which was to have a mana cycle slash mana tech cooldown focus damage build which by the end would have had Alchemist who would have popped off and been awesome with it as well. Yeah, that run would have succeeded. My warm blanket, I th that we would have been really fine. That was a really safe, easy run to finish, and I... But with all of that said and done, I gotta get out of here. I hope you guys watched me suffering in perpetuity. <laughs> and I will see you all again next time. Fuck off. <laughs>